Hello guys and welcome back to Crusader Kings 3, a game of thrones, where we will be playing once more as Stannis of House Marathian, worshipping the faith of R'hllor. Look at that further. I'm just incredible. It's all thanks to us, of course, uh, as we are uh, trying to convert uh, our lands of Dragonstone to be more loyal. Our brother Robert remains the king, Renly remains Lord Paramount. But also there is Prince Joffrey, looking suspiciously like a Lannister, who is set to inherit the throne one day. We'll see about that. Uh, thank you guys about for the uh, <clears throat> response to the series so far. Uh, kind of been a little quiet uh, for a while before the series, but I'm trying to keep, you know, keep this series up, keep all of my series going, keep you guys involved, and uh, all the feedback I get really really uh, helps motivate me to keep going so uh, if you have any uh, anything you want to something I noticed by the way for some reason Dawn's gonna <laughs> Vale's about to be inherited by Dawn uh, if there's anything you want to say any suggestions you have please do leave a comment I always love reading them so what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna this episode convert Dragonstone to a law by converting the Lords through a law and you see I could try and get them to convert but since they aren't a hostile faith I cannot so instead what we're gonna do is we're gonna start revoking their titles which is gonna lead to a war but I kind of want it to because I want to take these by force I'm ready for him to say no in fact I'm even gonna raise my armies in preparation for him saying no Raise all. And war has been declared by all of these lords here in the south. But we shouldn't we don't really have to be worried, our numbers alone should take this. Why does that cost three hundred? Like I said, I don't have an admiral. I believe admirals reduce the costs of uh, such things. Uh Edwin would make a good spy master, but I only have Melisandre. I guess we'll make him my admiral and put him on scattering fleets. Yeah, there we go. See, it costs us significantly less than I have an admiral. We're going to remain in Driftmark for a little bit. See if we can lure them onto Dragonstone and attack them in Dragonstone. And then I'm going to look at my allies so that we can get this done quick, basically. Uh, Renly would probably be the best to join us because I believe it's only Renly and uh, the Blackwoods who are close enough. Of my, because I have plenty of allies. Um, yeah, let's go, Brandly. Join me, my brother. There we go, and we've lured them into Dragonmont, where we should have a decisive victory against them. And I will lead this army myself. Shireen has come of age. That was very quick. Uh, are there any matrilineal partners for... Ooh! The Blackwoods again, or Fe uh, Ferran Greyjoy. He is the grandson of Quellen, and he's Euron's son. It could be an interesting partnership. We need to... I want to keep Shireen matrilineally married. want to keep... No, just in case. Don't expect anything bad to happen, but nonetheless. And this is very early. This is looking in our favour here. Yeah, we're just... Absolutely battering their armies. And then these armies won't be able to get off the island, so we can just follow them. So we're just going to follow them. Probably, they will probably go all the way here. Yeah, you just land and do some sieges, brother. No, okay, they are going directly here. And then we'll just catch them again. Okay, he's not going to come to He's going to see I'm in battle and think he needs help in the battle. It's okay. I got I got this, Renly. Don't even need you. That is a promise. I literally do not need you. And they are going to try and disembark, which will give him a disadvantage when I attack. 
Just stay sieging. I got this. Once we've converted uh, Dragonstone, I'll go back to Siege and Claw Isle. Because, I, you know, that could be a thing for Stannis, or it could be a thing for his son to do. I'm I'm not too picky about on who actually takes all these lands here. That's, uh, could be anyone. Someone new has joined against us. Uh, let's switch to... Oh, no, I need to keep it on that. Yeah, for the vassal limit. This should weaken them to a point that they won't be able to siege anymore. Or it may just fully wipe them. It fully wiped them. Wonderful. Now we're going to fly over to... Sh uh, fly. Yes, we're going to steal the dragons. <laughs> we're going to sail over to Sharp Point. Nope, Sharp Point. There we go. Already we can ransom off some prisoners. And I'm actually going to do so for the money. Ooh, I always love this event. We're going to use both strategies to siege as fast as hell. Hopefully, once we have these uh, lands secured, I want to put them all in the hands of, of loyalists to the faith. I want to empower the faith by literally empowering the faith. <laughs> the most practical sense of the word. Look at that, Randy's being smart, he's captured this, he's going to uh, capture the other on sharp point. Hopefully this will be enough, but if not, we can siege down these isles here. Shouldn't need to siege down Berryport. But I do know it will capture these three. Well, so, uh, it will, will capture these three, but I probably will not capture this lord, as or this lady, in fact, because she is a vassal of the ram already. I can make a stubborn. And then Eamon has grows a rivalry with me, for sure. He's a kid, I don't care. Probably be dead by the time he's a real rival to me. What's my son doing? Look at that. 31 prowess. 19 years old. Incredible. Now they are sieging down Hayeswood over here. They probably will actually get progress in sieging this down. So he's the Lord of House Hunter. Aren't those all the way... Yeah, they're all the way up in Eastweld. Interesting. Oh, an insp inspiration project. Don't care. Don't need me no rain. Four months left on our siege. Decent bit of loot to collect there too. Oh, it looks like Renly's going to take care of uh, uh, Bolwyn and ba Blackmark. Good on him. Oh dear, Melisandre has passed away. Melisandre at the age of 32 has passed away from pneumonia. She was one-eyed wounded. Oh my, my lord. Don't think anything could have gone worse for Melisandre. The one who converted Stannis to the faith has now passed. It might cause some wavering in belief, but uh, we cannot let Stannis think right now. We need Stannis to remain strong. We will move uh, his son to a spy master, and we'll make Richard Hawke the new admiral. And Reddy's probably going to catch them here. Yes, he is. Guess I can unpin her as she's died of pneumonia. Was <laughs> really not expecting that. Thought she had more years in her. I still have that random claim on Massey's point on Massey's hook, don't I? Don't know why. Don't know what benefit that gives me. And we have captured him. Wonderful. With him captured, the war is over. The battle is over. We have won. Yeah, John. I'm afraid I'm not gonna. Have to, I'm not gonna ransom you, mate. I'm actually gonna modify your contract. And then I'm going to revoke your title. Say it ain't so. Same with you, my dear friend. Bye-bye. 
and you. Boop. Revoke yours. And you're the easiest one to get the hell out of my property. You're fired. And then there's the problem of Lady Elwyn here. So I might do a little bit of a naughty. And that's this. I'm going to raise my armies in her lands. And then I'm going to revoke, uh, revoke her title. And she will refuse, but it will not matter. There we go. Is that her leading the army? It is. So if we wipe the army, she'll probably be captured with it. Nope. She managed to escape somehow. And while we deal with those battles, we will deal with the politics of who gets what. Now, Waycastle, I will start with you. I'm going to be giving these all to Stormlanders. And immediately, you seem like a suitable candidate for this title. And Berryport. Oh, I've given a two very smart grandsons there. They both have... Yes, he's had three sons. Edwin Seed is strong, no doubt. Berryport, I shall grant two. He's High Valyrian, so I don't want to give it to him. So, Casper shall earn that title. Let's keep sieging for a little bit. Gullet Tower. He's also Westerosi Valyrian. He's Mirish, so he's even worse of a candidate. Yeah, most seem to be... Not many seem to be converting truly. So even though he's young, and I know if I keep him in my court, I can educate him a bit greater, I am still going to give a sharp point to my son. And then have these two be uh, independent vassals under me. Yeah, and he can hold two domains, so it will be fine. <laughs> Dismiss. What prisoners do I have? Yeah, we can give those away. I don't need concubines. Just like that, we have sort of strengthened the faith a bit, uh, putting all titles under us in, in safe hands of safe lords, lords that we can hopefully trust. Now, our only expansion is through the Claw. We're really going to turn ourselves basically into the Lord Paramount of the Crownlands, because that's sort of, this is what I sort of want to have, It's like all of the hooks, like the Claw, the Isle, and the hooks. Could be an interesting... Uh, Lord Paramountcy, wouldn't it? The the claw and hook, and then the crown lands as these lands. Obviously, they're they're called the clown la uh, the crown lands as a uh, king's landing is built uh, in the Aegon Fort where Aegon landed, as the old capital used to act. Well, not really capital. Uh, old Town was the largest city uh, beforehand, and like many were crowned in Old Town, but there was no true Iron Throne or anything before Old Town or uh, before King's Landing. So there was no capital before. There was many capitals before. And four seize some lands. Disband our army. So we can make some moolah. And then let's revoke. Oh. I pff, didn't think of that because you're now a... Would you kindly... Using a hook wouldn't matter. It would be tyranny either way. That's so nice of you, son. I'm sorry that I did a tyrannous act against you, my little boy. You're going to get it back anyway. Could I give it... Would it be smart to give it to a grandson? I mean, he's like the... F no, it's you. Oliver is like so far out of line that he's never going to get it. <laughs> so we'll just give it to him and have him grow up and then go on to you. Look, you have your vessel back. Aren't I nice? Just upgraded it a little bit for you. 
Claw Isle is looking pretty strong, actually. 1.4k. And then that will be inherited probably by uh, Humphrey here. Uh, Lord Humphrey of the Scales. Though he's, he is a child of a concubine, where I'll, Edwin is a much stronger candidate. Yeah, that's probably a question Edwin himself would have to deal with. I mean, the son, he, he's named after him. It's clear a little bit of him wants Edwin to be the heir. Goodness, King's Landing's beautiful. I just love the detail. Not that Dragonstone isn't either. Dragonstone's really good. Uh, it's based off the sort of show's depiction of Dragonstone. Though I do think the, the actual dragons on the towers are added also a little bit by them. But uh, in the um, books, Dragonstone is very, very different. Dragonstone looks almost like dragons sort of like colliding against each other. They, they look really interesting. And people believe that they were crafted by uh, all sorts of um, dark magics. But, I mean, everyone believes everything the Valerians did was done by dark magic. So. Although I don't fully blame them in that. Uh, let's build a bit more. Let's get a blacksmith going in... Hopefully also drift mark if I can also afford it there. No, I'd need to wait a bit longer on there. Blacksmiths are a great a great a great way. Are a great way of uh, building up some moolah. Look at that prestige though, that's an incredible prestige. I truly am a, a god amongst men. because uh, as you know I'm very humble. <laughs> I mean I'm also cynical, so the beating. What in the world has happened to my daughter? She is all bruised and beaten and refuses to name who did this to her. Craven Solitary. I don't want to give any of those. I guess I'll give Paranoid. Because I don't want it to be Craven. Good. It's having a family claim on the Lord Paranoid of the Stormlands will be very interesting. Because it, it will be a claim that um my young boy Edwin will get when he grows up as well. Could mean if I take, if I take Macy's hook in these lands, like... Why not also take the crowd? The Stormlands, you never know. But it, that probably wouldn't think on... Stannis's mind wouldn't be pressed on such a thing. Stannis is fine as long as his brother sits on the throne. Even if his brother's become a fat, sad man. But he probably is spending most of his time on... Not this event again. Very well. But he's probably spending most of his time uh, on the Isles because he knows the truth about Joffrey. And has never been truly able to uh, accept Joffrey as a future ruler. He's called the Greedy. He's heading to... Oh, he's going past King's Landing to go to... Yet another bloody tourney on the Stepstones. <laughs> hmm. Your prowess is good. I could actually use... and Oh, and your uh, favourite rule. So you can definitely join us. And I will... Force you to fight. You too, Donald. Um, decisions. Let's invite some more knights. We could do with them. Train for... Okay, that's fun. So you can train for tournaments before you go. Good speed. There's always a faction against Robert. Leave him be. He's a good king. Sometimes. Well, I'll see. Being a king who does nothing is be better than the king who does uh, too much. The third guardian needs a successor, does he? He does. Donal should be his successor. Bloody good. Okay, and I cannot afford any of the captains. None seem that great anyway. None I'd go out of my way to recruit. Rivalin's looking quite weak. Oh, and Tibbots also is at the tourney. I guess that means Robert's in the melee there. Look at him. <laughs> Edwin decided not to go. Good boy. Never go to the Stepstones. They are an unruly place. 
And the only reason Robert went is because Robert goes to anything called a tournament or anywhere which advertises alcohol. He will be there no matter what. Do I want to keep Longbar under me or put it under... I think I'd like to keep uh, Lord Byron reigning. He seems like he's, he seems a good egg. Could be a decent um, steward for me, in fact. Let's make him steward. How long would it take for him to convert the culture here? 27 years. I guess it's better than nothing. Who knows, 27 years from now, I could have the Iron Throne. Probably not, though. Do I have a... Oh, I have Faerun, my, uh, my son-in-law. Doesn't like me much, but uh, he's suited for the job. Let's get him improving uh, sharp point for my son. Keep you on disrupt schemes. I think I have to keep you on that, don't I? Uh, we'll make you. Oh yeah, I have to have both of them on there because of how bad my uh... no, my ship's good, but that's the only way I can keep four or four. Fair enough. Would have liked the uh, vassal tax bonus because we don't earn as much tax as I would like. In truth, court, the court takes away a decent bit of it, but when you know that the king is making oh, he's only making five a month. What's he done to his bloody treasury? But let's have a look at the others. He can make a lot of money. Yeah, you're making six a month. And Tybalt is making only 6.5. That is a surprise. Is it because he's lost Lannisport? I guess it's Lannisport seems to be... Oh, and he's also lost uh, the Mines from Castamere. He's given those to his... Uh... <laughs> he's losing money here. But to... Uh... Interesting. It's like a... Oh, he's he's a grandson of Typhus, so he's a, a nephew of um, Tywin. It's probably how he got the title. His mother was a dumb whore with a fat ass. How good are you? Uh, you can join my court. You are allowed. How are we doing? Converting that faith. Six years. That's epic. Just wish I had a better Archbishop. Titus has died. Ah, oh, very unfortunate. Uh, who replaces him in Blackwood? His son, Brynden. Yeah, he, seems, he seems a decent leader. Though he hates me. Fair enough. Hates the law. Is zealous. Chad a Chad. So yeah, most of the Westerosi people have a minus 40 um, approval of me because of that. So it's not great. Oh, Renly uh, does have his heir, Renly, but his wife has died. She died uh, three years ago and he's still not remarried. wonder why. It's very annoying that converting faith and fabricating claims are the same thing. I always imagined, maybe, or at least in Game of Thrones, it should be the, the Chancellor who fabricates claims. Seems much more their role than the Maester. But it is what it is. He looks so silly in that hat. Maybe I should swap these two. Yeah, just because, you know, he's a Greyjoy, he's probably a better admiral. And obviously House Valerian is now uh, long gone, thanks to us taking these titles. Oh, that's a good question. Where is House Valerian? Shall we take a little look for them? Oh, that's title. We need to find character. Valerian. There are still some left. Orain Waters is still alive. He is a courtier in the crossing of the phrase. Interesting. And the Lady Daenera is just outside of King's Landing. And they're the only Valyrians. Oh, hang on, let me put one on. Run in top realm. 
Okay, there's a couple more. Ah, Monford. Monford is also around. He is a guest in a court somewhere. But they are all so old. The, the, these are the next generation here. Shayna and Ray. But they're both female. So if they marry any other way, it won't end well for them. Yeah, little Lord Humphrey. My future heir. But Edwin has a be better candidates. He has smarter children. Ones that aren't born of a concubine, but instead of his true wife. Who knows? That'll be his decisions to make, not mine. All Stannis is here to do is hold the way for the future of the law. He saw something in those fires, something that couldn't be explained. And... Oh, interesting. Lines about legacy. Oh, it's one of the poems. Lord Gilbert wrote it for me? From where? Fuck you, Gilbert. I think it was a piece of trash. Robert the Wolf. Shouldn't that be, uh... Oh, he died. Edda died because he got sick. I guess Craven. Damn, my kids hate Lib being alive. But the fires told them something about, uh... The greedy bastard. His nephew, quote unquote. Yeah, he'll believe that when he sees it. Oh, my other grandson, Lord Oliver. The little, the little one down here. His grandfather of Oberyn. How is she? Does she like me? No. And they're resisting to being converted. That's just so mean of them. Why don't they like being converted? Can I guess a little more? During peace times, I should set it to this. Ooh. I'll try the oldest uh, toll. We're at 10,000. Ooh. We'll take the stress. An adventure inspiration. She wants to go to the Stormlands. Well, it is my home. And you're competent. Very well. I shall sponsor a trip to the Stormlands for you. I could try, I could go to Baylorism. What a weird way to, to, for, to go. I think reclusive in his later years makes sense for Stannis. He's getting more and more grey. Do I want studied ancient text or studied underscore the underscore battle underscore of Leng? Ma. I mean, sure. Let, let's go with uh, the translation process. Going all the way back to Leng Ma. That'd be an interesting read. I always love that they do keep the fact that High Tide is so barely connected because it's called High Tide because obviously at High Tide you can't get there. And then we have. Two castles on the Isles as well here. Bring me something sort of from a skull or a hide, a trinket, a tapestry. I would like a tapestry. Of the Stormlands. I imagine when Essos is eventually opened up that the adventures will more likely go to uh, Valyria and um, the ancient uh, kingdoms. Or ancient, I mean, far off kingdoms. Uh, and maybe, you know, places like Marine as well. And Bravos, rather than going to the Stormlands. A place that Stannis could probably go himself, considering he was born there. Another try attacker. That's not cool. 57% chance she gets ended, but it's of a better quality. I'll take those chances. Hey, it's of a slightly higher quality. Now, just don't die. Why is she a brilliant general? 73 years old as well. Where's she been for all this time? Where did she learn to be a general? She's 
she wants to go explore the ghost hills. It would cost 60, but you know what? Sure. I'd like a nice artifact. Something to put over the fireplace, you know, and say, This is mine. This is from a, a remembrance of an adventure I didn't take, but I paid somebody else to take. <laughs> oh, now there's another grand tournament. Where's this one? I didn't even see that. Somewhere up north, I think it was. Lord Rob the Child Killer? Bloody hell, Rob. What, why have you been killing children, Rob? And he's the hand of the king. <laughs> what, <laughs> what have you been doing? At least he has the sons of Arya and Bran and Rickon. So at least we've got uh, all of the kids. But Rob, what have you been up to, you madman? Married to Lady Brand of the North. You can tell she's a number. You could tell she was a number just by looking at the picture of her. You were like, that. If anyone is a number, that is a number. Well, I could... Faeron Greyjoy has a claim to the throne. And, I mean, they they do look quite weak. 39k. If I could get... Renly Tap... Ah, oh, but the Reach joining in. Mm. You're, you're married to the Reach, are you? Yes. Damn. Maybe when you die. Nah, I'm not the kind of man to, to do that. But when you die, I could try and push Faeron's claims. Because Faeron is matrilineally married to Shireen, right? Yeah, so any children they had would eventually take over the Iron Isles. That is a huge thing for us. So I guess we just need to keep Faeron alive. But he is... He's so young. I don't know, maybe I just need to find another alliance. Because the reach is 25k. Renly outnumbers them. And I am outnumbered by them. So if I could get the Westerlands or the Tullys to join in. Do I have any... These silver. Okay, nobody wants to marry her. And it seems like Lord Tybalt doesn't like me much. And I imagine Alton's already married. Damn it, as is Jirai. Okay. No bueno on the Westerlands. What about Lord Kirby? No. Edmure hates me. Damn it, Edmure. I thought you were cool. What about the North? You guys seem epic and cool, and you kill children. I kill children too. Damn it, you figured out I don't actually kill children. Because that would be insane. You're already allied to Lord Edwin. I mean... Pfft, I guess that's... Maybe that's the thing that when Edwin dies. Or when uh, Stannis dies, Edwin can pursue this. Because Edwin's already got a alliance with them. Would Corrin maybe want to marry Silver? No. Seems like because of the faith, nobody wants to get married. That's going to be a problem. The faith obviously does sort of diplomatically isolate us. Right, now we've done that. I'm going to switch to well, focus in his later years. He's He's got all the strategic knowledge he needs now. Focus a little bit on building up our uh, lands and titles. Yes, very awkward. Very, very awkward indeed for us that we can't get political marriages because this could have been... This would be... For some reason I thought he died, but no, I, I accidentally double-clicked. It's still Roderick Sharpspear. Very good um, prowess as well. 41 prowess. Excellent fighter. If we can get Euron's son, Faerun, onto this throne, we are Gucci. Like, we are... We will have Baratheons on the Iron Isles, which would be... <laughs> I mean that would probably cause its own problems in roleplay, but we could we could get to that when we get to that. We just need to get our branch of the Baratheons to be something truly magnificent. It's interesting, so it seems like Joffrey probably won't form the Baratheon Lannister banner and form that subhouse. Because he's pretty cushy being a Baratheon and the Lannisters are mostly dead. It is good that uh, Renly switched, though. 
The fight would get awfully confusing. Born admits smoke and salt. Is he a ham? Okay, but we'll, we'll do a let's do a quick child checkup. Edwin has a monstrously look looking beard, but he is growing into being a proper proper young lad. I'll pit him so I can keep an eye on him. I'll mostly keep an eye on his health. And Roderick will also pin. Oh dear. Well, I guess never mind Edwin. I guess things aren't going great for you. Edwin's wife, Cirilla, has died. Which means leaves him unmarried. God, why is the first option his niece? Game. Surely I can't. Oh, I mean, she's a bastard anyway, so that's not going to happen. I'm already allied with the Iron Throne for being brothers. I think this Lannister, even if she is a... Uh, I mean, she's still a, a, grand, a grandchild of Titus, so... If they want to be married, I think that can work. We just need to get him a good wife so he can keep control of his regents. A feud has broken out between our houses. Interesting. Does he blame the death of his of, uh, his niece on me? Because yeah, bloody shouldn't, mate. Nothing to do with it. Oh dear. Roderick's house is fine. Okay. Whereas Edwin's doing good. Oh yeah, because he is strong. Yeah, Edwin, Edwin being strong. Very, very good for us. Proper, proper Lannister, Lannister, proper Baratheon trait to have that. And the fact he's got an intelligent and comely child in Edwin. Ed Edwin, for me, seems like the perfect suit for the rest of, for the next titles. But Humphrey is the one set to inherit. Um, Let's get you to be honest. And let's seclude myself for a bit to lose some stress. Spend some time alone to think. You know, I will also pin Sharp Spear so I can keep an eye on him. Because <laughs> when he dies, we can we can probably overwhelm the Iron the Iron Isles, push Faron's Fer uh, claim. Because that's what you do it anyway. You do it when they're at the, you know, when they're having the. Uh, moot or whatever it is. Not moot. Uh, whatever they call it. I can't think right now. Oh, the Norse in Rebellion. What's this over? It is Rickon's claim on Lord Paramount Sea of the North. Is that Rickon Stark? It is. Young Rickon. And the attackers do have more men. In fact, it's Rob, Rob is all on his own here. Uh, but the, the largest armies appear to be uh, Carhold, the Mormonts, and the Barrowlands. Very, very powerful Barrowlands here. I think they've uh, probably absorbed one of their neighbours to be that uh, large. Oh, no, they definitely have. They've absorbed uh, someone here. Because the Barrowlands are usually only this. Yeah, very strong uh, north. Or very strong Barrowlands in the north. Powerful vessel, but too young to actually be a powerful vessel. Well, these years of peace have done some good for us. Uh, given us time to consolidate the uh, faith of a law on the thrones of uh, our region. Allowed our son to grow up more and more. He's a proper strong bastard. Now, even if he's not actually good at being a sticky bastard, he's at the very least good at being a... Uh, yeah, he's, he's, he's learning it at least. Uh, he's good at being a, uh, a fighter. And uh, in our later years, we're switching to learn more about stewardship and learn more about uh, improving our um, our holdings and our lands. But there's not long left until we convert these lands and we can begin conquest again. Three more years, in fact. So I see a lot of conquest in our future. That is almost for certain. With that said, I think we shall 
leave it there for this episode. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this series. Uh, obviously a uh, sort of a quieter, calmer episode this time. Maybe needed after the invasion, after invasion, or, or the civil war and then invasion and then all of that in our last episode. Uh, if you haven't been watching my Harren Hall series uh, in uh, CK2, please go check that out. Episode 2 has just come out and already that game's got crazy with civil wars and the Riverlands and the uh, House of the Dragon slowly wiltering and dying. <laughs> so that was been a lot of fun. Uh, and I'm excited to uh, have episode 3 of that come out soon. Uh, first two episodes have been received well, but uh, just overall, if you enjoy my content, please subscribe. Let me know down in the comments. What's your what's your favourite thing about my videos that uh, keeps bringing you back? Uh, what do you want to see more of, uh, I guess? And uh, that will all be really, really helpful to me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Your support means the world to me. And I will see you guys next time for another episode with Stannis Baratheon. The Manis himself. Or I suppose... Uh, we should now be calling him a champion of the law. <laughs> uh, thank you guys, and I shall see you guys next time. Until then.